Low power FM radio are 100 watt or so micro broadcasters um, with a signal that reaches about, I think, five to seven miles. And the amazing thing is, uh, since commercial radio has consolidated in, in ownership, the playlists have become really, really restrictive and definitely less community focused than, than before. Um, as a way to sort of address that problem, Low Power FM can fill this amazing niche in local communities. Uh, you know, it's not just local music, but it's, uh, you know, civic debate, uh, public safety information. It gives a wonderful platform for any community groups, religious groups, you know, uh, ethnic minority groups. It's, um, it really represents a true community uh, uh, broadcast opportunity that simply doesn't exist for uh, enough towns and cities in America. Well, right now, low power FM stations do exist, but only in uh, more rural areas. And we would like to see that expand to bigger markets. And the way that uh, this would impact musicians is that, you know, if you're a local musician or an independent musician, you probably don't have um, a snowball's chance in hell in getting played on your local commercial radio station. That's just the way it is. Uh, the commercial radio se sector is consolidated. Most of the programming decisions aren't really even happening at the local level. Uh, but low power FM stations, on the other hand, are true community radio. So it gives artists like that important first rung to, you know, to be uh, heard by a potential audience. And also the, the cool thing is like listeners to low power FM start to know what's happening in their communities. You know, they know what shows are going on. They know what artists live right in their own backyard. And I think it's, you know, really important in terms of community identity and a feeling that, you know, great art can happen at home. Future Music Coalition has been working on low power FM for a decade. Um, you know, back in the early part of uh, the 2000s, the FCC wanted to broadly issue low power FM licenses because they recognized that, you know, community radio localism in broadcasting is very important. Uh, unfortunately, the National Association of Broadcasters um, were able to have Congress put some caps on the number of LPFM stations that the FCC could license. And since then, we've been trying to get those caps lifted because we think that you know more American towns and cities should have the opportunity to have actual you know meaningful local radio and right now we're really happy because we're we've almost made it there um, you know for we're the furthest furthest we've been in 10 years and there's a really good chance that uh, we will have an expansion of low power FM service to you know more American towns and cities and we just think that's going to be an amazing thing for local musicians